Hello, and welcome to Critical Role. <laughs> a bunch of us 3S voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Missed you guys so much. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, missed you guys so much. Uh, thank you all so much for your your patience as we all adjusted to this uh, pandemic. We kept ourselves and our crew safe and healthy and worked on a, a process of getting us to this uh, optimal setup, which was brainstormed and developed by our fantastic production team. Thank you so much to our production team and yes, Marisha. Yes, uh, yes, the yes. content Woo! team's working so hard throughout this time uh, to get us back here in a very safe manner. And thank you for your patience, guys. Sin sincerely, this is really exciting. And it's not, it's not until, and I'm sure some of you can speak to this too, it's not until this is taken from you that you realize how important it, of a rock it is in your your weekly life, let alone daily life. And Straight up. I'm so happy to be back here with you guys. Yeah. Uh, okay. How do we do this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so nervous. It's a crazy thing about D and D. Just kind of improvise. What are these points? Uh, Speak it up. Just figure it out. Be fun. <laughs> um, quick housekeeping note: uh, We will not be hosting a giveaway at the break, uh, as we have uh, previously. Uh, for the time being, at least, we won't be doing that. Uh, we'll let you know whenever that changes. So, but big thanks to our friends at Wormwood for helping us make our uh, break times for the show so epic for as long as they have been around. Uh, we really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see, we have some announcements. We'll begin, uh, Sam, you had something you wanted to, yes, to mention. There's no, um, there's no sponsor for tonight, <laughs> but if I don't speak for a minute at the top of the show, I have no purpose in life. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, r rather than wither into a husk, I wrote a poem. <clears throat> oh, no. This isn't an ad, there's no sponsor today, just some friends and some dice here to laugh and to play. It's scary outside, filled with hard news and strife, but in here, Ford sails us through a fantasy life, where we battle for gold and drink from a flagon unless we get snapped up by a turtle or dragon. <laughs> we know that reality's been quite pernicious, but you made it this far, and we're so glad you're with us. Us in our studio, you safe at home, and though we sit by ourselves, we don't feel alone. We're surrounded by love of all colors and races, by pride, by black lives, by critters in all places. So thank you. Thanks to the techies, the staff, and the crew, but most importantly, thank you to you. While we were gone, you patiently wait. You guys are our antidote. You let us create. And so I raise a glass, and though we can't clink them, <laughs> We can still toast and we can still drink them. <laughs> we, we love all you critters, and I'm happy to say, tonight you're going to watch a really great TPK. <laughs> uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. But in case you forget, you can always ask, is it Thursday yet? Oh. Cheers. Oh. Love you, man. Love Fuck, you, buddy. You made the wizard cry before the game started. I know. I'm all watery now. Yeah, that got me. Uh, yeah. Sheesh. Thank you, Sam. That was really sweet. That was amazing. Should have rhymed. Broken clock. <laughs> oh, I've been finding a, a rhyme with pernicious, no less. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Who are you talking to? <laughs> I'll admit that rhyme, it made me suspicious. Oh. Hey. hey. Still, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Uh, Marisha, you had some things you wanted to talk about. Uh, yes, so in case you missed it, we released a brand new State of the Role that explains a lot about the process of bringing the show back and the safety measures that went into this and what you can expect from the channel in the near future, so be sure to check it out. It kind of explains a lot more of what you see here. It'll be on our YouTube channel, and uh, yeah, with that, this is pre-recorded. So when you see this, it'll be the future. <laughs> but now, it's the past. So just know that. You should probably know that. Wait. We're pre-taping this Wait, how, for safety. How, how did you accomplish this great feat? <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. The magic of scrying stones yeah. has gotten hey, top notch. It's nice. the future. That means that things are better and better, right? Yeah. That's how things have been going. Yeah, <laughs> Great. They will you, be eventually. We'll see, right? <laughs> yeah. The chat will let us know. <laughs> <laughs> um, with that, join us next Tuesday on July 7th at 4 p.m. Pacific for our latest episode of Narrative Tal uh, Narrative t Narrative Talison featuring Telephone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how words work.
work anymore. I've yeah. been locked in a room. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you're doing a thing. You're doing your narrative telephone, and it's next. It's also in the future yes. and in the past. Yeah, that's true. It's Just like you. Whoa. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. I'm glad to be back. Holy shit. <laughs> Thank you, Marisha. Yeah. Uh, and speaking of narrative, Talison, Talison, <laughs> Liam, you guys wanted to talk a little uh, bit. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll start this off. While we were uh, on our imposed hiatus, uh, we apparently released a third art book uh, in our series of art books, The Chronicles of Exandria. Uh, this one is kind of special because the writing team, which was uh, uh, myself, Danny Carr, and uh, whoever I could wrangle from the cast, and uh, also uh, Marisha's notes, which were very helpful, uh, put together this book as uh, the Mighty Nine from Bo's point of view. It's got a lot of interesting narrative stuff, and I'm really excited for you all to see what we put together. Uh, so oh, well. This beautiful oh, beast, shit. the deluxe version is currently uh, sold out in our shops, but we're gonna try to get it restocked in their stores sometime later in the summer. But for now, the standard edition, uh, you can find it right now through your favorite local bookstores uh, and online through Amazon, Barnes and Noble. And since we're back, since we're in the past and in the future and talking to you guys again, I just wanna take a moment, this is not the standard, it is still the deluxe, but just to thank every artist who contributed to this. Um, it was a, a work of love from top to bottom. It wouldn't exist without you. I'm gonna just gush and show a couple of like uh, some beautiful Ooh. stuff Ooh. here. Um, here we have a, a spread uh, with art by Jonah Bauman, at Galactic Jonah, as well as Megan Pagla, Pagliaroni, who I know better as Small Town Inc. because I know people's handle first because it's 2020. That's a beautiful yes. spread. Yes. That's oh, one. Oh, oh, man. Oh. It's so pretty. Uh, I also flagged this one with this great Yasha. Oh! Which is done by Azra I or Azra uh, at Azrelu. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> um, and That's then beautiful. one more I'm going to show. This one was done by Will Kirkby, and it was yes. one that no one has seen before. It only exists in this book, and it's gorgeous. Oh, really? Everyone looks mm -hmm. sad because something bad happened just moments before spoilers, this. Spoilers, spoilers. Uh, oh, wow. But just oh. so layered and complicated, and the oh. color is amazing. <laughs> Will, have you done yourself again? Oh. And too. again and again, and and it's full. I'm just not going to give away the whole story. It's it's just everything, top to bottom. Every page is gorgeous. Thank you, artists, always. That's it for me. Awesome, Thanks. thank you. Uh, Good job, guys. <laughs> we got a few more things to talk about. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> so we're, we're, we've got a little bit of catching Obviously, up to do here. Um, but Laura, you're up next. <laughs> I'm up. Okay, so you guys. <laughs> Um, so we've been working on this thing for a while and we've been holding on to it because this is for the hundredth episode. And now we can finally show it to you. It is a spell, a spell scroll. Well, I mean sort of. So it's a it's in conjunction with our pals at Die Hard Dice. They helped us make Die Hard Dice this amazing scroll, which is based on Fortune's favor. Ooh. Um, so yeah, these are sketches done by Taliesin with input from Matt. There's little like Easter eggs on the page so you can check it out. And then it's to roll your dice on because everything has to do with dice here. Thing. And then in here, it's also got this fabulous little pocket so you can put like your figures or some dice and stuff, you know. <laughs> it's pretty really great, and over, over here you got a whole other pouch. You guys, it's the coolest. Anyway, <laughs> um, seriously, check it out. It's oh, in the store. So oh no, this is our commemorative oh, item. And then also, I'm not going to talk about everything, but we also released a bunch of items while we've been on hiatus. So go to the store, check them out. Some of it's really freaking cute. I just sent you guys a picture of one of them. Holy, oh, mm. oh, that's yeah, available that now. What? What? Yes, that was a lot. Go Holy to the store. Way. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Laura. The uh, that that spell scroll uh, because Talison is an insane person. Not only does it have a bunch of a uh, bunch of Easter eggs in it, it it's it does it's it it's it's functional and, and as much as a spell scroll can be functional in its design. Yeah, I should say this was also you know helped designed by Aaron Monroy who was oh. at the company. Oh yeah, He's phenomenal. He does such amazing work. So yeah. Oh, this is but so cool. Anyway, yeah. we'll talk about that another. We'll time. talk about that another time. That's a that's, that's a that's a talk's mocking subject. 
Um, all right, uh, and Ashley, I believe you're up yes. last. Ashley. Hey guys, hello! Standard My standard <laughs> announcement! <laughs> Listen, we wanted to remind everyone to continue supporting organizations working towards ending systemic racism and promoting equality in our communities. Yes. Uh, we stand with the Black Lives Matter movement and we wanted to share some of our favorite organizations who are all working towards ending complex and unjust systems in our communities. Mm. Uh, Color of Change, which you can check out at colorofchange.org. Mm -hmm. Race Forward, which you can check out at raceforward.org and the NAACP Legal Defense and Education Fund, which you can check out at a, nope, <laughs> N-A-A-C-P-L-D-F.org. So if you are able to, please consider a donation to one of these three amazing organizations or any one of your choosing. Don't forget to love each other. Yay. 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 <laughs> Thank you guys. So happy to be back. Yeah. And since I believe that concludes our announcements. No. Oh. No. Can we talk about no, something no, else? No, I believe no, it's no, time no, to no, jump no, into no, tonight's no. episode no. of. Did you guys watch Tiger King? Critical Role. <laughs> <laughs>